Hello, Battle Riot fans, and welcome to Champions at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 33, along with DJ. God. Th That's your cue. I'm, I'm, wow, I feel terrible now. You forgot my name. No, that's just your cue. You're you're introducing yourself. Oh, was yourself. I supposed to say? I'm sorry. I, I should have been clearer. TJ. Yeah. Oh, no. Along with TJ, I'm sorry, I didn't even I... realize there was a there was a subtitle to this broadcast. So hey, I'm behind the times. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, so we have an actual live game for the first time on Champions of Dawn because normally I do replays, but we managed to get a live game going because of a hotfix breaking replays. And we have Mina and Devil Joe versus the team PRL, Pyro Swan and Jim Blade. Just deciding characters apparently at this point. Not sure why Mina's not ready. They are apparently doing fine with Taya and Yumong. And this is Devil Joe's team. Like, Devil Joe and Mina are a team. Apparently they actually live together. And team PRL, they've just shown up. But hey, they're both PRL admins. Pro, pro, rivalry, pro, pro rivalry League, which is the group that TJ and I are also with as casters. So, let's I, get started. I think this is rigged. You We're think it's rigged? This. Well, we, I mean... It's 100% rigged. Right. We set it up, so... Yeah, I mean, in a sense. Okay. Rigged. Wow, Chimblade. Wow, okay. Chimblade, yeah, you're not even on Twitch. It's well, you good. are on Twitch, but you're not on the Twitch chat right now. That's in game stuff. Man. He answered a Kappa. It's all good in my book. I'm I'm fine. Okay. Anyway, starting out. So we have, of course, me. Okay, a few early posts gone. Me trying to get some shots in. Everyone trying to get shots in. Blue team. First off, mount first in, and nothing going on right now. I really looking at the battle rates. It looks like Mina's going to be fairly defensive, going for the second prowl thing, and we see that coming out right now as we have Chimblade. Falling back, Pyrus One in the front, trying to defend themselves with Luna Strike. Red team getting the orb. And there are Chimblade again, but really? Kind of getting discouraged, or theoretically getting discouraged, but no, not getting discouraged at all. Red team now going in for the massive engagement, and nice incapacitate on Mina there. Looks like Red team really pushing Blue team back into the corner. And at this point, Mina's about to go down. Mina down, and Devil Joe. Trying to hold back. I think that's... Yeah, we have blue team finally getting the center. I think... I mean, you think Double Joe has any chance at this point? I mean, she has the center. Or they have the center. Absolutely. Look at how low HP Chimblade it is. And even as I'm saying that, Chimblade will fall. Pyro. Now, right there, Devil definitely has the HP disadvantage. But with a DPS oh. focus champion and nice. that orb grab, Got this is orb. now... There we go. That's what we possible. need to see. This is a match, although, admittedly, Devil Joe did, did go for the haste on Boomerang, or the haste cooldown on, no, that's not haste Boomerang, haste Boomerang reducing the movement speed. Wait, increased movement speed, sorry, we went for haste boost. I, why can't I read that properly? She went for the haste boost battle right, so it's not going to be super useful, whereas Paraswan, definitely with a tr the very strong sunlights coming down there, and good Luna Strike there, not really in a position to push... Devil Joe out of the arena though and Devil Joe with the ultimate with little mounted razor boomerangs coming out there and nice wind strike but unfortunately not killing Chimblade in sorry not killing Pyrus one in time and that is the red team taking the first match good match though I mean I think I don't know I think that it was I feel like that wind strike if it had come out a bit sooner Any thoughts? Yeah, I think it was a fairly even match up until that end. I really liked how Pyro Swan was willing to kind of accept that he was going to get driven out of the arena. He was entirely comfortable with that idea because he could sit out there, he could microwave his opponent right inside that arena and win just because of the massive HP advantage he'd gained at that point. It was just kind of textbook Shifu play by Chimblade early on, very, very aggressive. And they didn't really get a lid on it until way too late. I'll uh, hold that thought because we have Red Team getting the center, actually pushing... Wow, pushing Devil Joe really hard away from here. Chimblade with a bit of an empty counter, not managing to do too much. And it looks like Blue Team's taking the center again. Mm. And, ah, Chimblade taking that center orb. There we go, so Red Team... Sorry, Blue Team with the center... Wait, Blue Team apparently got the center orb regardless. 
Okay, yeah. interesting. There. Orbs can be orbs can be hard to keep track of sometimes. There's the immaterial love to Jim Blake. He's gonna go and chase it down Devil Joe and look at the Shifu play. He can't land his stab. This yeah, is like is... watching a stormtrooper play Shifu. It's awful though. There we go. There's the dive on yeah. it, blown away by a wind bomb. Close range. And the orb will go to the blue side. Nice snipe on you. Yeah. That worked out really well. It looks like Jim Blade is going to be basically holding out. Actually, at this point, Double Joe forced out of the arena. But nice little X strike there. Did okay. And Jim Blade with the ultimate, putting a bit of pressure onto Mina, but not a whole lot. Mina's doing actually really well health wise. Double Joe about to go down, though. And down goes Double Joe. Jim Blade taking that. But Mina is playing Jumong. Oh, but triggers the counter. That's not what they want to do. Thankfully, avoiding that nice little impale. But still, this point, Mina. Oh, good try, but got pushed out of there. Bit surprised, too, because Mina has the prowl, the recast prowl battle right. Like, Mina's got a lot of escapes going on here. On top of, you know, Jumong being Jumong. I think. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of one of the less mobile ranged characters. The champions' characters, all the same thing. It is kind of one of the less mobile ones of those. So, even though he seems like he does have escape potential, he can run out of it very, very, very quickly. Yeah, it looks like Mina is trying to get that... Try, just trying to get that arrow in there. We're trying to get the steady shot, but it's just not working. And another counter trigger by Double Joe, allowing Power Storm to take the center. Chinblade in a bit of a bad position. Kind of out of position. I mean, the tr counter trigger, the impale worked out with the charges, but still, Chinblade's really out of position. Power Storm taking the center orb, but Chimblade's taking a lot of damage, though so has Devil Joe. Mina seems to be okay, and good cancel on that steady shot to avoid triggering Chimblade's counter. Chimblade going on the mount. Wow, that was a bit surprising. Didn't work out very well at all. And Seeker's Mark and Alaf for nice incapacitate into the bear trap. And the ultimate Astral Beam not working out for Power Swan at all. Chimblade about to go down. There's that recast Black Arrow from Mina to take out Chimblade. And Power Swan completely locked down. Totally locked all the lockdowns. The bear traps, it's a oh, stun on the wall. Wow, everything. Every single every single bit of CC that a Jumon can throw out there, Mina has thrown out there. And Pyro Swan forced to retreat I mean, for a serious player, getting out of there. In that situation, it's... I mean, you have Lunar Strike. Like, Lunar Strike can get the orb and then grab other orbs. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know if you have any other thoughts, but... That's what I have in, Sirius in mind. doesn't normally do well in 1v2s. He doesn't really have the capability to do well. Uh, uh, his only option really was if he could guarantee a one-on-one. -on -one, maybe with a petrify. Something along those lines could possibly have saved him. Uh, but he wasn't able to do that instead. He was just kind of run out. There really isn't much in terms of escape potential that even a Sirius has. He has that celestial split, which allows him to get in or out of a situation, but especially if he's in a one-on-two, they will chase him down, and they will end him eventually. Yeah, that's what I figure. I mean, I've... When I play Sirius, I do find it's just... I don't like being in that situation at all. Obviously, it's never really easy to be in that situation, but yes, Sirius is definitely a hard one for that. And Sirius being extremely... I mean, I should say, Twin, Chimblade in particular being extremely aggressive. Nice... Nice counter out of the root. Good good use of Sunrise there. A little bit risky because, of course, it wouldn't necessarily be triggered. And Blue Orb sniped... Blue Snipes Orb again, but nice Lunar Strike. Getting that Petrify going. Freeing Devil Joe. Actually, Chimblade freed everybody. That was a little odd. Chimblade actually getting punished for that. That was a mistake. There's no reason to really free somebody when they're Petrified. Or free one person. Don't go for both. I, I think. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what your yeah, experience with Petrify has been. I think it was just a misplay. I think there's no greater way to emphasize that that will be the incapacity ending yep. the nice prismatic Ooh. strike out of... Good ultimate, good tornado out of the whirlwind. That was... Which sounds like a really weird phrase I never thought I'd say. But yes, a tornado escaping a whirlwind. Well, whirling... Oh, yeah, actually... Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. That <laughs> is the phrase. That is the only phrase that you can say. That is exactly accurate to the move names. Anyhow... Chimblade, oh, red team taking the center. Good grab by Pyro Oh, blue team took it again? I feel like that color can't be accurate. I'm sure red team took no, it. No, the color is not accurate. It's about it's about which side. You'll see an increase in HP and a little uh, okay, because apparently the circle over the team that gets it. The color doesn't mean anything. Oh, yes, I thought the I color know, was that's the last stupid. team was. Ah, yep. No, I the, orb, the orb is special. You're like, this is this makes sense. If the color is blue, then the blue team got it. No, the color is always blue. 
It's a, it's a pain, and I've been begging all my contacts at Stunlock, all like one of them, to change yeah. it. And they've been like, yeah, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. Okay, I was, I was under the mistaken impression that that was actually relevant, so that's good to know. That makes a lot more sense, because those, those some th times there where I thought, that can't have been a steal. Red Team got that. I know Red Team got that. There was no way Blue Team had that. But maybe they used telekinesis to grab the orb. Did you think maybe, of that? Maybe there was a, huh? a sprite bug or a model bug, and it just was completely invisible. Ooh, extra egg on the wall. That was not a good thing. Still, okay, Blue Team actually takes that. That was the Four blue team with the orb. That was, <laughs> yes. that was the blue team with the Very orb. Very obvious. Good win. Oh, very nice escapes there away from there. And nice wind bomb, a little bit far away from the X-Strike. And at this point, Chimblade not really doing too well there. I'd say they're out of position. They're not really doing a whole lot for actually getting moves in and being forced away. Chimblade, he's going for these chases time after time. He leaps in, he goes for the chase, and almost every time he pays for it, there's the counter not being yep. triggered, and there's the damage nope. just flying out. Oh, Devil and absolutely the hunting him down, and he's only got one. Yeah, Devil Joe's done. I'm oh, sorry, Devil Joe's. Sorry, Chimblade's done. Devil Joe's doing a great job here. I would say Mina was throwing out some good shots there too, but really, it doesn't matter. I mean, Mina, when you're talking Jumong versus Sirius, that's a really hard matchup for Sirius. Mind you, Jumong versus anybody, it's kind of hard to fight Jumong, but yeah, that's game, so blue team takes it. Probably should do another one. I think we should make this best of three. Now we have another this match. Best of three? Oh, why I not? Realize this was best of three. Nah, I'm what just if, making it up as we go it's along. A best of four, say? What if it's a best of four, say? Well, then that would be a rather long-winded series, but... Okay, uh, no, it's possible. I played... I, I casted a game that had best of... Best they, of 40? It was a Counter-Strike, and you know Counter-Strike oh, games Counter -Strike, are like an yeah. hour anyway. They had a best of seven grand final. I was like, where the shit did you get that idea? Only oh, best of seven? Shit. Nah. Only best of seven grand final. Each map is, of course, an hour. It was... it was hell. <laughs> yeah, I can I see will, that. I will oh, never you're going to invite Jim Blade again. I forgot to add Jim Blade. Anyway, yeah. So that, but the thing is, that's a thing. Get to like, add me. Get me in there. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's a thing Oops, that fine. That I find is I, with Counter Strike. Apparently, it is normal though because you have like it is like 30 rounds or something. Always an even number of rounds apparently, which I find very bizarre. No, 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 no. So the way Counter-Strike works is it's... You play a guaranteed 30 rounds maximum, first to 16 in game. We played a best of seven of those game. Oh! Oh, wow. Yeah. No, it wasn't the best of seven rounds. It was the best of seven full Counter-Strike games. And I was casting every single one back to back to back. And it was mind blowing and frustrating, and I hated every second of it. Wow, okay, that's. I am. I am partly in awe and partly in pity. <laughs> Not sure I mean, really I how to approach to, that. I used to do these Rocket League um, casts that would go, you know, unexpected five hours. And casting for five hours is just, it's hell on earth. When you don't get any breaks, it was, it was hell. Never do it. I'm never going back. Yeah, I've been there. My, not so much for that, more for tournaments that just last like eight hours of a bunch of different things. Yeah, like, well, it's it's you can it's manageable if you have breaks, right? With yeah. breaks, you can you can work in the breaks. You can sit back, and it's all good. Every now and then, though, you you cast a tournament that goes five hours, and there's no breaks, and it's back to back to back action. And by the finals, you're just like, oh god, yeah, action is happening. Things are happening on the screen, and I don't know. Hmm. I yeah, feel like I'm better off for it, though. I mean, it's probably a good experience. But anyway, we're on. We are on to the next game. So let's let's continue talking randomly about Counter Strike and wondering why this. Well, that's that's annoying. an interesting team comp. If they stick with it, yes, they. There's no pearl. Are we seeing a Varash? Pyro Swan? Are we seeing it? Yes, we are. We're going all the way in with the extremely random TPS ranged. 
and support ranged combo. Nice. I mean, unfortunately, my screen got a bit bugged out, and it's only showing me the champion selection, so I can only see blue team. But we'll we'll okay. see it in a sec. Well, so your mind is about to be blown. This ah, is per a, oh. a bizarre. Fresh this and is pearl. a bizarre team combo. Actually, I was playing Vresh earlier because Vresh's new battle rights. I really wanted to check them out. It's pretty cool. It, it does feel like you have a couple different playstyles to work with. And I it mean, looks yeah, like... but I've never seen him playing su successfully at the top level. He just does not have that level of viability. At like right now, since since the Halloween patch. Since the Halloween patch, I haven't seen him play. I've never seen him play at the top level. Oh, wow. I wonder. I, w I would wait a couple weeks, though. Like, I would wait until it's... Because I feel like there's a lot of pressure to just go with what works. Go for safe strategies. Not really go so much for experimental stuff. I mean, obviously some experimentation, but... Well, I mean, we've seen Jumong. We've seen Rakan already at the top level. There are definitely people trying new things. It just yeah. hasn't been this barrage pickup. Well, anyway, we are seeing it now, and now we're getting a nice shot in there. Nice counter from Chimblade getting out of the... Chimblade taking loads of damage, and very nice smack from Devil Joe. Getting Chimblade out of there. Chimblade, good counter on the rush, but still armor break oh, off of stone. crushing blow. Uh, yeah, that doubling capacity was pretty awesome. And Chimblade trying their best to get out of there. I mean, Chimblade does, does have the dive charging her, her weapon, or charging the weapon. Not using a lot of dive, though. There's the dive. Where's the volatile water to get? I mean, at this point, Double Joe's oh, taking a fair amount of mace. damage. And there's the fish. There oh. is Jaws. Now, the double ultimate. Double... That could be huge for a scene if he can make it work. But him and Pyro Swan are both so very low. There is Pyro Swan wasting an ultimate. He misses the first strike of it. That, of course, means that the rest of it will be nullified. If you look at the team HP, though, it is actually surprisingly equaling out. There, though, is Varesh falling. And Jim yep. Blade cannot be far behind. Devil and Joe will try to get some is down. Trying to get... and that should be that. They're going to get out of there. And nice counter. Oh. EX Bubble Barrier, or I guess Unstable Bubble is it technically called, but EX Bubble Barrier at that point would be... would have been handy. I find not a lot of Pearls use that. I've like, seen I, a couple times used after the uh, Jewels combo. You go, you grab people, you throw them into an Unstable Bubble. I've seen that used. Hmm, okay. I can see that, but it's, for running away, it's surprisingly useful. Because you can't get projectiles through it, and anyone tries to walk through it, they take 26 damage the moment it goes off. So yeah, I think it's just, it's got limited utility compared, you know, it costs an EX and compared to the actual bubble barrier here, it's just kind of a little bit better. Fair. I guess, I have I have used it successfully to win in really bad 1v1s. But, at any rate, red team is losing the center and, or sorry, taking the center, blue team's losing the center, red team almost lost it, but, oh, nice grab on the orb, very good claw of the wicked there from Mina. Good counter from Chimblade, though, getting getting blue team out of there. But blue team put a pretty solid control of the center. Nice claw of the wicked. Good good shot. Nice. Ooh, there's the ultimate, but not really a whole lot going to go on with that. Looks like a couple grabs coming in. However, it doesn't really matter. The small bits are counting. That's what's really working out. And we do have Chimblade with Jaws. Basically breaking blue team's position. But at this point, 1v1's going. And I think Mina's having no problems whatsoever. Mina's still at full health at this stage in the game. And Pyroswan, 50 health left. Good couple shots, and that would do it. There's the Boulder Toss, and... Ooh, man, one good... Very good shield, very good... Actually, both shields, Bubble Barrier and Inhibitor's Guard. But at this point, that is the one last slash that needs to be done. I gotta say, one good... One good anything, really, at this point, for Blue Team. There's not a whole lot that can be done here. Chimblade trying their best, throwing out all the Volatile Waters, all the charged Volatile Waters they can. I don't really see what they can do from here, though, other than just getting really lucky with counters. And it's just they're not hitting the balls of water. That's really not helping. Very nice ball barriers, though. The attempt at range damage, and it will be the boulder to finish off Pearl. Uh, yet again, another dominant round, and I really do think this team comp is kind of biting them in the ass. Like, Sen Varash has never played. There they go. They pick up a rush, and it hurts them. Chimblade over on that pearl, she's viable, but we rarely see her in twos, just because there are better healers in twos, there are better support champions, and he's instead chosen to stick with pearl. That's not really working out for him. If you go and you pull up the stats right now, you can see how much damage is happening over on the red side, and it's just minuscule. Mm-hmm. That's... 
I feel like Power Spawn just hasn't really been hitting a lot of the useful things. I haven't seen him throw a lot of judgments out there. And I mean, they have the Shatter... They have the Shatter Preservation thing, like, to preserve corruption. But not a whole lot of Shatters have been hitting. They... Oh, they got Wuju Judgment. They did not get the extra Shatter Charge, which I do find a little bit weird. Like, that's where you really get a lot of your damage, the Shatters on Judgment. Especially when you have ju Bounce Judgment, of course, the healing from the corruption. But at this point, Double Joe just wailing on Chimbley. I think Chimbley's given up. Chimbley just He's sitting the there. Chatter, right? Lol, fuck Rook. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's like, sums up this match right there. There's the slap for the incapacitate. Oh my goodness. And the kill. That was, that was, that was Rook. That's, that's what we saw there. And we're going to a game three. Yeah. No, wait, didn't they win the first game? No. No. Oh. oh. I... Who knows? Let's go to a game three anyway. I'm pretty sure, actually, you're right. I'm pretty sure they did lose. But... Yeah, see? See, I have memory. I know things. Yes. I do too. But in fair, apparently, it's getting mixed up. All right, well, I guess you we'll just, do... You made me doubt my reality, and I'm forever going to hate you for that. Or something. I didn't mean to gaslight you. It just sort of happened. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. I was right! I was right! They won both. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Well. Oh, oh but they, they are, they're good to play more, so we can keep playing this. I wouldn't mind. I mean, you know, one or two more games, that well, would be... You, if you could go and set the win score to five, that would mean we had more kind of tactical depth within each game. Sure. Um, Standard tournament of... style. Yep. Although I was casting an eSports wall tournament, and they went and they ran um, best of three, win score three uh, for the whole tournament, because that uh, kind of encourages a lot of quick switch-ups. Basically, in between every individual match, you can go... This champion lineup wasn't working. This is where we make changes. I don't think it makes sense, though, because nobody does that. There you go. This isn't working. Maybe we should change. No, never mind. <laughs> well, yeah. That's kind of why I would see why you'd have best of like a best of three three round thing, or yeah, rather than a best of five. I mean, I see a right five round thing. The five-round thing I kind of like because it means that you are always going to have all your battle right choices and then the rest of it is just making use of that if it goes beyond five rounds. But if you are going to have champion switching, potentially, because that does come up. Anyway, Double Joe going for Jade with Mina continuing to go for Rukan. No clue what the other two are going for because for whatever reason, my game has decided to just Pyro bug out on Pyro Swan is on Sirius. Chimblade is on Croak. Uh, yes, another fascinating champion lineup. I'm not I'm not really sure why they think that's a good idea, but it will be countered. There's a Taya and a Jade in return. This is all DPS all the way over here on actually both sides. I see Freya and... Oh, wait. Let's see. Okay, Sirius. Sirius and Croak against Freya and Jade. Oh, I love a Freya and Jade combo! That was... That's just maximum DPS. Maximum it's, DPS it's and maximum terrifying. crowd control. Because you have yeah. phrasing, you have phrasing capacitates when she hits the wall with her hammers, and then you have, I mean, at this point, Mina's going for blast vaults, the blast vault stealth battle right, not going for either of the control, like uh, not going for additional snipes or going for disabling shot root, but still, there's a lot of crowd control you can get with Jade and with Freya. It's pretty amazing. On the other hand, Pyrus one also going for crowd control with the lunar strike battle right. The Jim 360 going... shot, Mina, he lands it, setting this man <laughs> up for face. <laughs> that, yep, yeah, that's Jade, all right. I mean, that's the, like, I'm kind of surprised you don't see more of that because you can just do that. Like, you can just do that in Battle Right. It's so easy to set up. And there's another one. Mina just showboating the hell out of those snipes. I mean, that is how you do that. And nice ultimate coming out there. Not doing a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Tried mostly nice because of avoiding the ultimate at the last second Pyrus one. Ooh, I'd like to see that junk shot. That was a good junk shot. But at this point, Chimblade taking so much damage from this. I mean, really, it's more. Like, Chimblade takes so much damage. Pyro Spawn is trying to stay alive, but once again, we already talked before about how serious it's not really like 1v2s. And there's another. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Mina. If somebody doesn't sign this man to face, I'm going to be eternally disappointed. That's all I'm saying. Pyro Swan definitely is feeling the wrath of the face clan right now as he does manage to escape. Oh, no and oh, come oh, on! The rage quit! 
<laughs> wow! Like three from Chimblade. <laughs> Chimblade's gone. I. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, that's the thing, apparently. That's how things go. Sometimes people just resign. I mean, to be fair, that is the third match they've... Well, okay, it was the first round, but they did lose two in a row. So, wow. I suspect he'll be back. I th surely, I know Jim Blade. Surely he won't, he won't stick with that. Yeah. Maybe. 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 My, nope, he's not. He's not back. I nope. He's not back. I. He's gone. <laughs> he couldn't do it. The three sixties tilted him too much. Wow. I just found them amusing. I I'm, guess. He, yeah, that is kind of PM. But wow. Okay. It looks like blue team just wait. Oh no, blue team's got it. That's the forfeiture. They're done. I mean, I can. If you need, I can go and slide in alongside, um, Pyro. I mean, I guess, sure. I mean, if you want to continue commentating from that position, be my guest. <laughs> uh, no, that wouldn't work. But I, I will, <laughs> That's true, if you actually. Want That'd be really games, bad. If you want more games to cast, I will slide in alongside Pyro. All right, cool. So, that, sure, let's let's do that. Why not? All right, oh, Pyro's one left, too. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. no, no oh, no, they're, they're no, in no, the mind, staff Sorry, office, I invited in the wrong so. section. They're still here. But yeah, sure. I guess if you want to do that, then... You guys are okay with that? We will have a slight change to the players involved. Because Chimblade apparently got really pissed off about that last match. I... <laughs> I can understand. Oh, just... Like... Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, no, I'm not sure Pyro and Chim are in the staff office, so it's possible, it's possible that for some reason they had some, like, they had to go to a staff meeting or something. Oh, okay. Entirely well, possible. I mean, oh, wow, Pyro Swan's also salty. Apparently they had an issue with their ultimate, so... All right, slide in here. We're 2v2 in them. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Right. Are we right. going casters, casters versus plebs? Are we sticking with it? Well, at this point, I can't even get in. Really? You can't? Yeah, I I can't clear up Pyrus 1 or anything. Uh... I don't. I don't see Pyrus Spawn as, in, as invited. Can you leave the lobby and I will re-invite you? Sure. This is, I'm, my apologies, stream, we are having some technical difficulties. We'll be back right now. 